Hey, what's up everybody, Gratuitous here. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to create your own FL Studio template. But before we get into that, I do wanna share with you guys that I, when I first heard about creating a template in FL Studio, I thought that it was such a cool idea to save time, to save clicks. And what I discovered was over time, my FL Studio template became so heavy and it gave me a horrible experience later on. I explain all of that in my book. It's called FL Studio Ultimate Template Creation Guide. Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. All right, so let's first talk about how to create your own template. We will get that out of the way, but then I highly encourage you to keep listening because the advice I'm going to be giving you is from many, many years of using FL Studio, trying these templates and discovering that the template that you created was actually harming me in the long run. And you're not going to know that until later on, because what happens is you create this template, you start making all your projects, all your beats. A year later, maybe six months later, you go back to those projects and now you're opening up those projects where you use this heavy template and you realize, oh, I shouldn't have done it that way. So let's first talk about how to create your own template in FL Studio. You can see that this is where FL Studio stores your template files. It's in Documents, Image Line, FL Studio, Projects, Templates. If you store your files in here, FL Studio makes them available when you go new from template. And you can see here is my two templates, all right? And then also if you hit F10, or again, options, and here's F10, and you go to general, you can see way down here at the bottom, default template, you can actually load your template for whenever you open up FL Studio. But most of my stuff, as you can see, they are stock plugins. Stock plugins are good. It's just about knowing how to use the tools, okay? But the whole goal of a template is to reduce the amount of clicks. So when you go to make your beat, you always want to think to yourself, what am I doing all the time that is causing me like 10, 20, 30 clicks all the time in FL Studio? And that's what you want to set up, okay? As you can see right down here, I've created what's called sends. And if I had, let's say, a piano on insert eight, I can easily route that to an exciter, to distortion. It saves me literally so many clicks every single beat. So we're going to go empty. Let's say this is a blank slate. And I just want to explain to you, watch, if we save, I'll just save this on the desktop. We'll just go template uh, tutorial. All right. And so what we'll do is let's load up my own template and let's just count to see how long. My computer is pretty powerful, but it's a little old. So one, two, three, about three seconds to load. Let's load up this template tutorial, the one that we just did, which has absolutely nothing. One, two, barely even two seconds. When I first started, I had um, so many inserts all set up. And when you want to go quickly through your projects, it takes time. I'm telling you, I'm just speaking from experience. So what we're going to do is, again, we are going to go new from template, empty. This is how you can set up your own FL Studio template, whatever you want to do to get a good workflow. Typically on the master, like let's say we're just going to be use, using FL Studio stock plugins. You're going to want a limiter. Nowadays, we put that ceiling. So look up here um, in the hint panel. So typically we put that to minus one. Okay. If you would want, like if you'd want to put another compressor on there, you could. So what you do is you're going to go file. You're going to go save. And now we have to save it into that template location. So again, it is in documents, image line, FL Studio projects, templates. I'm just going to press control C, control V. And then now let's just go uh, tutorial template, okay? And we will save that. So we actually have to close FL Studio and reopen it, and I will do that. And now this tutorial template will be available to us. So we're gonna go file, new from template. Here is the tutorial template. Loaded very, very quick because it only has one plugin. Yeah, the Fruity Limiter. It is at that minus one, okay? And so now, in order to get that to open up all the time, you go to general, you go to default template, and then you just click tutorial template. Whenever I would close and reopen FL Studio, it is good to go, okay? So now I do wanna to talk to you about my own personal template, which is available for purchase on my website. Now, what I wanna say here is, Whenever you purchase products from me, I usually always try to provide some type of education for you guys. This template, as you can see right here, is super lightweight, okay? I also give you guys a practice project where you guys can practice mixing. So the video shows you how to install it, how to actually use it, and I'll share that practice template with you, okay? Just so that you guys can get an idea. And again, look how fast the template is loading and 
you know, it's all color coded in regarding to if I want an exciter, if I want um, parallel compression, if I want distortion, if I want wideness on the sound, all I have to do is click on an insert and you can literally just click there. Now the sound has wideness. Now the sound has distortion. And um, in that video, I explained to you the difference between routing it here, right? You have a volume knob down here. You also have a volume knob right here. All right. So that is how you create an FL Studio template. I also gave you a, an example of my own personal template, which is available to be purchased on my website. It's gratuitous.com. And if you would like more information about creating a good template, just check out my book. It's called FL Studio Ultimate Template Creation Guide. The thing is, you want to be creating a template because it saves you so many clicks, right? But again, what you'll discover is you'll think, oh, template. You try to add everything into that template. But the thing is, it gets heavy. It takes longer to open. And sometimes it just doesn't suit your workflow for every track. So the whole point of a good template is that you don't even feel that it's there. It's supposed to just be improving the clicks reducing the amount of clicks that you have to make. And that's it, okay? So again, I have my premium uh, FL Studio template available for purchase. It comes with the training project. It comes with a video showing you how to use the template and how to install it. Just visit itsgratuitous.com. You guys can find all the information on there. That is how you create your own FL Studio template. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you in another FL Studio tutorial.